Hi friends, good evening. Welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So I am Manju here again. I welcome you all for my YouTube channel. So uh, in this video today, I am going to discuss with you how to prepare for ETL testing interview and how to write the SQL complex queries and also some of the HR questions. Okay, what would be the HR going to ask you in interview? So this video will be going to more informative. So kindly subscribe to channel uh, if you not subscribed earlier so that you are, you are getting a very valuable uh, videos here valuable information those videos containing what i am making here so let us move to the things uh, so we can learn the things properly so these are here some of the things uh, what i made the notes so first the thing is how you are going to prepare for etl testing uh, interview so what all the matter you, you are going to cover so see here if you are preparing for an the ETL testing job interview here are some tips that can help okay so what are those tips understand the ETL process that is make sure you have through understanding of ETL that is extract transform and load process concept and the role of ETL testing within that process so what exactly the ETL testing role okay within that process you must uh, understand that concept clearly review the basics of data warehousing and data integration context so uh, basic data warehousing concepts you must know and data integration concepts okay integration means the data is coming from heterogeneous sources different sources okay that integration data integration concept you must understand properly so review etl testing tools and techniques so familiarize yourself with etl testing tools such as informatica data stage talent etc also be aware of common etl testing techniques like source to target mapping validation and data completeness data accuracy validation data transformation testing and error handling testing okay these are very important in etl testing okay so brush up on sql a solid understanding of sql is essential for etl testing because we are using SQL for writing and validating the queries. Okay. So review basic SQL queries, complex SQL queries and join queries. Practice with some data sets. Okay. Look the look for a sample data sets to practice ETL testing. This can help you become familiar with ETL testing tools, techniques, and the entire ETL process. Be familiar with data quality issues that is data quality is a critical aspect of etl testing so to maintain data quality it is very hard okay so you must understand uh, the data quality concept in depth okay so this is only the very uh, hard thing in etl testing process because as client want data quality as best so you can provide that data quality to client okay so be aware of common data quality issues like duplicates incorrect data types missing values data inconsistencies so next one is prepare for behavioral questions like in addition to technical questions you may be asked behavioral questions to assess your communication skills problem solving abilities or you can say analytical analytical skills prepare for questions that require to explain how you would handle a difficult situation or how you would approach a problem research the company and job research the company and job you are applying for to understand their specific needs and requirements before applying any of the companies you must understand the company background what they are actually expecting from you so that's very important okay go on that google it you will get companies okay so you understand the companies and uh, their basic needs properly Tailor your preparation for showcase how your skills and experience align with their needs. Remember to be confident and demonstrate your ex uh, expertise during the interview. So that is good luck. So moving to next slide. Writing complex queries can be challenging. But here are some tips that can help you. So understand the problem. So before you begin writing SQL queries, make sure that understand the problem you are trying to solve so first you have to understand the problem only then only you can able to write the query for that break the problem down into smaller parts if needed and identify the key data elements required so plan the structure 
plan the structure of your query by deciding which tables to include and how to join them. Think about which columns to select, group by or aggregate. Use aliases. Use aliases for table and column names to make your query more reliable, readable and easier to maintain. So this also helps uh, when joining tables with similar column names. So use subqueries. Subqueries can be used to break down complex problems into smaller parts. Use them to retrieve data from multiple tables, filter results or perform aggregations. So optimize the query. So optimization is very important here. Optimize the query by using appropriate indexing, minimizing the number of subqueries or and reducing the amount of data returned. This can help improve the query performance. Sample data sets and test cases to ensure that query is working as intended. So use documentation. Finally, document the query by adding comments to the explain the logic and purpose of query. So this will help other developers to understand and maintain the query in the future. So remember that writing as complex SQL query requires practice and experience. Keep learning and practicing the to improve your skills. So moving to next slide here. So these are some questions. Okay, HR may ask you. So first one is as usual, like tell me about yourself. So you have to tell me your name and your last project and last working client. Okay. And what all the tools you used in last project and uh, what are your rules and responsibilities? This first question is okay. So already I made uh, uh, one separate video for this. So introduction of candidate in ETL testing. So go through that. You will get the de in detail. So what do you know about ETL testing? So uh, answer is here. I have experience in ETL uh, testing tools like Informatica, Data Stage and Talent and other open source tools. I am skilled in using SQL write complex queries for ETL testing. I have also used source to target mapping validation, data completeness and accuracy validation, data transformation testing and error handling testing techniques. So uh, next one is can you uh, explain a challenging ETL testing scenario you face and how you solve it. So sample answer might be like this. You can uh, think and you can build your sample answer. Okay. So in my previous job, I encountered a scenario of where data was not being transformed correctly during ETL process, resulting in errors. After investigating, I realized that data type of a specific column was being changed during the transformation process. To solve this issue, I worked with development team to modify the transformation rules and perform extensive testing to ensure that data was being transformed correctly so these are the some situation we can uh, interact with the development team okay so 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 some minor uh, situations uh, some minor errors can cause minor mistakes can cause uh, some errors okay so this is what this situation here so approach to handle conflicts or issues with development team so how you can uh, uh, face the situation to handle uh, conflictsness or some issues with development team so sample answer would be like uh, i believe in uh, open communication and collaboration to resolve conflicts or issues with development team. I first discuss the issue with the team and provide the necessary evidence to the support my findings. I then work together with team to find a solution that benefits both parties and ensures the quality of the project. So uh, friends, these are the some question what I made here for uh, ETL testing uh, interview perspective like uh, how you are going to prepare for ETL testing interview and how you can be able to write the complex SQL query and uh, what are the some of the HR common questions here. So one most important uh, HR question is like uh, so HR may ask you so HR or uh, some manager manager question may ask you like uh, if you are uh, you, your duty is going to end uh, after five uh, after half an hour so uh, the again the person who is not arrived so because the, you have to hand over the, your duty to other person. So that person uh, not came uh, with some of the heavy reason. Okay. So what your approach? So uh, what you are going to do? So whether you continue the duty or you can just uh, left the duty or what, you, what your exact approach means. You have to say uh, I continue the du duty uh, till that person come uh, or else if uh, that person is not came. 
and uh, i continue the duty and uh, i try to hand over my duty to other any other persons uh, like uh, in his team or my team so if uh, he uh, no person is available for that uh, in that situation i uh, till the continue the duty uh, and uh, finish up the duty so this is what i have confidence and uh, i can do the uh, duty for uh, uh, adjusting him okay like this you have to answer for the uh, in hr or in manager round okay so this is what the thing uh, i hope you understood the questions and answers and concepts clearly so i will be with you uh, with some more questions queries or uh, detail testing concepts okay friends so till that bye bye have a nice day uh, take care friends